King Christina Vassa. Huh? A girl king? I'm getting to it. In 1626, King Gustav II, Al Duffus, needed an heir to the throne, preferably a boy. When the king realized his newborn was a girl, he decided she would still inherit the throne one day as a king. A girl? When Christina was six and her father off at war, the family received news that King Gustav had died in battle. Christina was then presented as king, not a queen and just there to make heirs, but a king who ruled the country. Wow. Christina had to wait till she was 18 to become an official ruler, so she had to live with her over-emotional mother for a little while. Sometime soon, Axel Oxensterna, a family friend, brought her to the palace in Stockholm. Pleased to see you, Christina. Axel Oxensterna at your service. Well, if Christina was to become a proper king, she would need the same training the young boy would have. This required her to wake up 4 a.m. frequently. And she had to learn many subjects like Swedish, French, Latin, Diplomacy, Art, History. Christina also learned many men's sports like fencing, shooting, and hunting. In 1639, Christina's beloved aunt, Katerina, died. When Christina turned 18, she finally got the crown in the reign of Sweden. But I seriously considered not taking the crown so I could become Catholic, a forbidden religion in Sweden at that time. Though I accomplished many things during my reign, after 10 years I renounced my position as king. Even as a regular person, Christina led an ambitious life, accomplishing many things. 